<laughs> Thank you very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a few more shots since there's actually a few more dogs out now. <laughs> no, it's really good. This is just for my, my journalism students at the university. Uh, they'll be able to cut a little story out of this. All right, all right. We're gonna do punt pass. Ready? Oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think he would camp under like that. I guess he's tough enough. What's your name? Nice Walt. Walt, I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice. Is it all right if I take pictures of you and your dog? Uh, not a problem. All right, cool. This. What's your dog's name? It's Chester. Chester? What kind of dog is he? All right, all right, all right. Uh, mostly Jack Russell. Yeah. Cool. All right, one more time. Pretty dog. All right, okay, all right. Chester, yeah. and he's a Jack Russell Terrier mix. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah, I think he's full on Jack Russell. He's Is little, he? He's a little bit big for, for Jack Russell, so. Okay, uh, I'll set this right here. You can just talk to me over here. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is for my journalism students at the University of Arizona. Oh, what class do you teach? It's uh, broadcast writing. It's called, called Journalism 380. Okay. It's pretty basic. I used to uh, be an adjunct journalism. journalism. Oh, yeah? So, oh, yeah. that's what I'm doing. What's your What's your name again? Walt Nett. What did you, what did you teach? Uh, I taught a few couple of years ago. I taught 205, 206. Really? That's, wow, that's actually, yeah. that's taught very intense. I taught a couple of times. Wow, cool. Yeah, my wife's a journalism student now. She just got done taking 205 with Relic. She needs Oh, she's a really good teacher. Yeah. Well, good. Okay. Go ahead and say, just in case the kids aren't familiar with you, I need you to say and spell your name. Okay. Uh, first name is... Yeah. First name is Walt. That's W-A-L-T. Uh-huh. Last name is N-E-T-T. N-E-T-T. Okay. Can you, can you call Yoda for just a second? I'm sorry. I appreciate it. Thank you. There he goes. <laughs> All right, but talk about the dog park. Maybe compare it from before to now. 
Well, I actually just started coming here with Chester just before they closed it for all the renovations. Mm -hmm. So my first view of it was all pretty barren and uh, not a lot of grass. And when you come back and see this, they've done a beautiful job with um, you know, putting the sod in. The sod's taken very well. Mm -hmm. And I guess they dug down and busted up some of the caliche mm -hmm. uh, so that you actually irrigate it and get water to grow instead of just having to turn it into a bog. And, um, you know, I think there's still some improvements that we could, it would be nice. A lot of us from here were going over to the dog park at Jacobs Park, and, you know, they've got you know, Porta Johns, they've got more trees there, and it's actually a bigger park. Uh, this is a nice sized facility, though. It is fun to watch the dogs just kind of mingle together. They seem pretty happy 